Amazon recently changed their S3 access method, which we had used to automatically host email images. However, at the moment, those dynamic links cannot be created. You may still use online links for your image resources, but we realize this may be rather cumbersome to do. We are working very hard to find a permanent fix for the automated images. In the meantime, we have created a temporary workaround. We are actually quite excited about it because you can now host your images in different locations, all in just a few quick steps. Let's get started with this step-by-step -step guide to connect your image resources. Step one, export your design. Once your creation is complete, click the export icon in the top toolbar. You'll be prompted to choose where you would like to save your project on your local machine. Step two, pick your export location. You will be asked to designate a folder on your computer where to export the email.html file along with the images from your email. You can also create a new folder to organize your project. Once you've found your location, click Open. Step 3. Review the warning dialog. A new warning dialog will appear to notify you that the image hosting workflow has changed. Read the brief recap of these steps and click OK to continue. Step 4. Image Resources Path. A pop-up dialog will ask you to set the path where you will upload your files. If you want to upload your files to a third-party image server or S3 bucket, just enter the full-length path for the folder destination. To upload your files to the Coffee Cup S Drive servers, press the S Drive button. Step 5. Access Resources. When the final dialog appears, Click on the Get Resources located in the center icon. The exported folder will open with the files needed for your email. Leave the action dialog open. Step 6. Log into your server. For images hosted with Coffee Cup S Drive, you'll need to log into your account. Then go to your S Drive Sites dashboard. Click on Upload File and then select both exported files. the .html file and the image folder, and then publish. If you are using a third-party location, you will need to upload the exported files to the path specified in step four. Pro tip, if you are sending multiple email campaigns, we suggest that you rename the email.html file to match your project file title. This way, the files stay organized while uploaded to the same destination. Step seven, copy the code. If you will be sending the email through MailChimp or Constant Contact, return to the export dialog box and choose copy code. Then you're ready for sending.